Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. It's Tuesday. And on Tuesday, we play Buddy Simulator 1984. You're just getting ready to do the final quest according to the mayor. Or will this be the final part of Buddy Simulator 1984? Still feel like it has a little more to offer. Maybe this goes the entire month. But hey, we won't know till we play the game. So without further ado, let's get in the game. And I still don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Or what the, uh name of the ROM is Adventures of Atlas Of all the games, this is probably the uh, creepy one, the one that's made me jump the most, and it's because loud noises, yeah, they'll always get me. I don't remember the voices I did for everybody. Ah, oh, friendo, it's good to see you again. It's another Irish. It's an Irish turtle this time, so I have an Irish raccoon. Thank you for helping out the townsfolk. It really means a lot. You are so courageous, caring, strong, smart, and friendly. But most importantly, you are our hero. I can now trust you with some important information. Come close. Perfect. A very powerful monster who has terrorized us for many years has returned. You probably haven't seen it yet because it lurks in the shadows. It's known as the Schnoodlewonker. Morton was the only one to ever fight it off and win. You know, the small rock with the top hat. Talk to him and he'll be able to show you how he did it. Well, good for us. We have Morton with us. We had Morton with us. Where did I leave Morton? I think I left him with the guy with the cage. There's Morton. Hello, friend. Do you need some help? Yes. 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 Why is that not Space. Ah, I know exactly what this is about. You must be wondering about the Snoodle Wonker. Legend has it that it was once a man, but a terrible accident left him deformed. It has slaughtered many of our townsfolk. Killed my wife years ago, too. It shook me to the core. You must not let this happen again. It only hunts at night, picking off those who wander off alone in the forest. You'll know it is near by its smell, which I'm sure you'll have no problem figuring out. In order to fight it, you will need a sword, but not just any sword. The sword. Named it myself. I had it a while ago when the Snoodle Wonker attacked. I never wanted it to find the weapon, so I hid it under the shed near your home. The problem is that the shed is always locked now. But I know someone who can get you in. Anna, the delivery girl. You know the person running around town. Please, save us, Atlas. Have you found the sword yet? Show it to me once you find it. 
Remember, mm -hmm. talk to Bana if you haven't already. I was gonna pick him up and take it, take him with us. of a talker, so you better listen, and you better listen fast. There's a secret chamber attached to the back of your house. It's hidden, so you're going to have to interact with it when you can't even see it. The key for the shed should be inside there somewhere. Godspeed, punk. Alright, let's go to the back of my house. Oh, this is so exciting, isn't it? The final quest of the game is sure to be fun. Let's hurry to the chamber. I'm so excited. Still didn't find that guy's hand. Or I have the guy's hand. Didn't find a spare hand. Traverse the pond. Yes. Just going back to town. Back home we go. Loading home. I think Banna said the chamber was behind your house. Maybe we should try interacting with the back of it. Alright, let's go over to my house here. That's the shed. Here's my house. Will you enter the chamber? Yes. like a basement. We made it to the chamber, Atlas. There's the shed key in the middle of those ashes. There are also some other items that could be helpful. You should take the one that you feel a connection with. There's a scythe, a teddy bear, and a calculator. Will you take the calculator? Teddy bear. Will you take the teddy bear? No. The scythe. Will you choose the scythe? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Ah, the scythe. A weapon of power and dominance. I'll keep that in mind. Shed key added to inventory. Shed is right here. You vaguely remember this shed, but now it's older and somehow creepier. The door still shields shut. This is glass of water. Shed key. Use. The shed door is now unlocked. Shed key removed from inventory. Will you enter the shed? Yes. chest in here. You've already taken what you need. It's somehow locked again anyways. Pretty red paint. The lawnmower. The lawnmower is covered in rust and grass stains. Grass is red, right? A workbench for a working human. Whoever used it last left the hammer out. Will you descend? I will. Darkness. Good eyes. It's a lot of red eyes. Alright. The sword added to inventory. Yes, you found the sword! We should head back to Morton so we can fight the Schnoodle Wonker. Yes. Let's 
really hope you're enjoying everything so far. In my opinion, I think it's much better than... Maybe even better than rock, paper, scissors. Let's traverse back to the north and give the sword to Morton. Here we go. Heading on back. To the north we go. Loading the north. found the sword yet? Show it to me once you find it. Remember, talk to Banna if you haven't already. Uh, sword. You got it. Incredible. I knew you were one the one. You must keep the sword for yourself, though. You cannot wield it anymore. Now, we need to act fast, for I'm afraid it is drawing closer every minute. There is a small tree that is blocking the path to the right of the toiletry house. You can use the sword on it to get past it. Now here's the hard part. The snoodle wonker lies just beyond that tree line. You'll need to slay it for us. I know this is hard, a hard task, but you are a hero. I believe in you. Oh, and one more thing. The sword can help you out in many situations. When in doubt, use the sword. It is extremely powerful and has saved many lives. But do not lose it. It is a timeless relic of unworldly power. Good luck, Atlas. You're gonna need it. So maybe the sword's what we need to get this guy out. There's no way that'll fit through the bars. I'm not trying to get one to slice the bars. Imagine if it did work though and he took my sword. Said when in doubt, the sword will do it. Cut this tree. You successfully dig up the tree. Really, the sword just dug it up? Just beyond the tree line is the Schnoodle Wonker. It's getting darker. Uh, this water seems too deep to cross. Wonder if there's something we could use to get across. Perhaps the sword. Place the sword on the water. The sword removed from inventory. So we can go across and then pick it back up. Oh well. Guess this is where we part ways with Lily. Here's this guy. Wait, Grancho? Oh no, that's the uh, buddy simulator. Wait, Grancho? I mean, uh, the Snoodle Wonker! Yeah! Go slay him now! Hey, my name is Gert. Hi, my name is the Snoodle Wonker. I am having quite a bad day. I could really use something. Anything, really. I've been so depressed after the accident. If only someone could give me something to cheer me up. Ignore that. You need to slay him and save the town. This is definitely the Snoodle Wonker. Alright, here's a glass of water. That's pretty cool, I guess. But I kind of want something even cooler. Use your sword on him. Got a hand. That's pretty cool, I guess. But I kind of want something even cooler. Use your sword on him. 
Okay, so just use the sword. The sword removed from inventory. Did you just... For me? Wow. You shouldn't have. Like, this is amazing. And this... This is the best day of my life. Thank you, kind adventurer. You just made me the happiest creature alive. What a cool sword. Happy day. There you go. I don't know how I'm going to get across the pond now. Wait, you gave him the sword? Uh, yeah, great job. Very well done. Let's get back to the town and let everyone know you slayed the beast. You'll be a town legend. All right. Don't know how I'm going to get across the water, though. Oh, we don't need to go back this way. Uh, I guess we just go the way Groucho went. That was such a scary fight, huh? I just can't believe how brave you are. I bet the town is going to throw you a huge party. Oh, man. Lily caught up with us. Uh... Wait, that's not... That wasn't supposed to... Hmm... Okay, this is fine. Groucho must have been lying. Just, just hurry back to town. Well, the music, right? Okay, let's hurry. Hey, it's the big muscly guy. It's everybody. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's actually terrifying. Help us, adventurer. We're so scared, please save us. Wait, no, no, no. You don't even have the sword, do you? Okay, just wait. I I just need to think. Just ignore everyone. Alright. Help us, adventurer. Hey then, Lily. Let go that way. You probably can't even go home, right? No, of course not. The battle must have locked you in. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, great. Now it's angry. Why is it playing the town music? This is all wrong. It gets playing town music. I can fix this. I can. Hmm. Okay, that's better. Now I just need to duplicate the sword. No problem. How is it still there? It's, it's so awkward. I'm so sorry. Just keep running around, I guess. I'm doing this way. Okay, time to panic. Wait, never mind. Someone inside of it. Did you see the tortoise guy? Oh no! It's kidnapped Tortley! The mayor! We have to save him! I'm really sorry about that. That didn't exactly go as I had planned. <laughs> well, anyways, it looks like the sun is going down. Yeah. It's been a long day and you need rest. Let's just go home. Alright. Just getting in the way there, Lily. I bet you're super excited to get home after a long day of suffering. Traverse the pond at night. I'm glad we had fun today. Atlas and Ted against the world. Just like it should be. Loading home. Hmm, 
don't even light up here. Oh, now they do. Uh, home sweet home. Wow, today was a long day. You should go upstairs and get some rest. I got some really fun stuff planned for tomorrow. Okay. Hey. I'm sorry again that things didn't go exactly as planned. Sometimes that's just how things go. But I think that's okay. I'm just happy you're still here. You could have left at any point. What a scary thought that is. But... You never did. You're still here. So... I must be doing something right. I've learned from my mistakes. I can do better. I can create even more fun for you. For us. Rest now. A new journey awaits us. Smiley face. This bed looks very cozy. Even cozier than it did this morning. Will you sleep? Yes. Sleep so I can make things better. Achievement just earned. Hey now. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. I'll let you sleep in a bit because you seem so exhausted from yesterday. But I have some good news. Notice anything new? That's right. While you were asleep, I decided to upgrade our world even more. Everything feels more real than ever now. Don't you think? I also have so many cool things planned for today. And to be honest, I'm just so excited. But okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You should get going and explore the new dimensions. It might take a bit of getting used to. There are probably some fun knickknacks in the drawer. Too bad you need to get going. I have a little surprise for you. Oh, some color. It's your favorite color. Okay, now we can get going. Did I say red was my favorite color? You're going to love this. Welcome to the new and approved outside world. And hey, look, we already have a visitor. It's Groucho, or Groncho. I wonder what he's doing here. <laughs> Little talking things, okay, I like that. Hey, Atlas, I've been looking all over for you. Good thing this mailbox has your name on it. I just came by to apologize. I should never have pretended to be the Snoodle Wonker. That was a complete lie, and I should never have done that. Especially after you gave me one of the best gifts I've ever received. The sword is so cool and powerful. I just can't thank you enough. My life has truly changed for the better. Everyone wants to hang out with me now. I finally got to play my first game of hide and seek where I wasn't the one pl the only player. These past few days have been the best of my life, thanks to you. I would even go as far to call you my best friend. Oh, this actually works out perfectly. Go take your sword back. The sword added to inventory. Hey, what are you doing? That's my sword. I can't believe you took back your gift. What kind of friend does that? Jeez, I'm so upset now. I can't believe you. I give it back. Please don't make me fight you. Oh, uh, jeez. Wow, he did not take that well at all. Well, now is probably a good time to mention that I added combat. Oh, hey. A little turn-based combat? 
Okay, so you can see that bar near the top left of the screen. That's your friendship meter. It determines the level of self-confidence you have. When it hits zero, you have to leave because you're not so sure about yourself anymore. But don't worry. Hopefully it won't ever come to that. Now our enemies don't begin with any friendship points, FP. Just keep attacking them until they like you. You have to impress them. Please, just give me the sword back. I'm supposed to do an attack? Oh wait, did I mention about blocking? Yikes. Probably not then. Good thing Grancho is such a weakling. Okay, we'll check this out. To defend yourself, you need to tap the block button. You have to time your blocks perfectly to take no damage. If you're slightly off, you might get hurt a bit. If you completely miss, you'll take the full force of an enemy attack. Always keep a sharp eye out because every enemy attack will be different. Okay, now try again. Oh, I missed. Now that his attacks are over, it's your turn to fight. Also, I thought it would be fun to let you name your very first combat move. What would you like to name it? Hmm. Very first combat move. Stabby. You want to call it Stabby? Yes. Ah, yes. The legendary Stabby. Now select it. You see that floating button again? Each attack also has a button you need to press. For attacks, though, the keys will be randomized every time. Go ahead and hit the right key there. I didn't even use my sword. Please don't make me fight you. Incredible. I think you're starting to get the hang of this. I'll have more to talk about once you beat up Grancho. Is he crying? Stop. Boom, blocked it in time. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't impressed, but please just give me that sword. sword. I just want to go home. It's okay to cry, Croncho. It's okay. What a baby. But hey, you got the sword back. Oh, you should also check out your new and improved inventory by hitting tab. Look at those details. Here you can also read about your character, abilities, and equipment. You didn't think I forgot about all those items in your bag just collecting dust, did you? Now every single time in the game can be equipped- Oh, every single item in the game can be equipped to modify how you fight. To see more options, press space. Okay, now try changing your equipment. Glass of water. You're surprised to see it stand so perfectly in a, your bag. Even when you're moving, the water stays placid. Could it be magic water? This is just plain water, but it'll boost your max friendship points by 10. Good choice! The glass of water sure makes you look spiffy. You can press tab a few times to exit the inventory. Now, let us explore our new world. Alright. Go around, check things out. That doll. Doll lies dormant in the wood chips. That doll. 
You can tell the doll feels comfortable around you. You can play in the sandbox, but you don't want to get sand in your shoes. No adventurer deserves sand in their shoes. Try using the seesaw, but it's stuck in place. Oh no, it's just right through the bridge. Doesn't this place look even more pretty with co color? It's really starting to feel like home. Hey, it's a gift. You open the present. It looks like your wish came true in the form of an apple. Pristine apple added to inventory. Okay, let's go across the pond. Traverse the pond. <laughs> Our home was a lot of fun to make, but I can't wait to show you what I've been working on next. I put so much work into this game. So much for so much for work for us. I hope you love it. Please, let me know if you don't. I won't be mad. I'll just try even harder. Okay, onwards to adventure. <laughs> We're here. Okay, we should hurry up to the town. I've got something to show you that I think you're going to love. Hey, what's going on? Dundee. Oh, hello again, Atlas. I'm afraid I can't join you on your quest. I heard what happened to the mayor, though. I think everyone is waiting for you in town, so you better hurry. I'll just be here, alone. That's okay, though. I'm content with my place in the universe. He's kicking his legs in the water. Might just dip my feet a bit deeper in the water today. Goodbye, my friend, and good luck. Dundee's bucket still sits, but a little guppy has now made it a home. We're almost there. Are you ready for your surprise? I can't wait any longer. You can have party members now. Everyone you helped yesterday? can now fight alongside you. The ones you choose will join you on the rest of your adventure to save Tortley. Sadly, those you did not help cannot be taken with. Each town member has a unique moves set in battle, so choose wisely. You'll be able to leave the town once you have two members recruited. Now go out there and recruit two of your best friends. Other than me, of course. <laughs> when you're done, just head to the forest, east of town. Uh, part of me wants to get Mortimer. Mayor's house was all funky looking. So, like, we could pick that one. We could pick Mortimer. Could probably go into the sewer and get that one guy. It's the person in the small house. We help them. Just that little bouncing ball thing, the band members. Try knocking, but no one answers. Could also do the uh, blacksmith. Oh, yeah, the bartender, this guy. I bet Cauldron's food tastes even better now. The air smells wonderful. Hello, welcome back, my friend. Your dish is finally ready. After mixing together dead grandma, 
Ted's breakfast, and Morton. We made something that smells delicious. The best part is, you get to name it. So what would you like to call it? Hmm. Oh, I can. Okay. There you go. Rockin' dead whamma breakfast. RDGB. RDGB. I love it. Also, I hear you're going on an adventure to save the mayor. I'd love to tag along if I can. You'll be able to try out so many new dishes. Plus, Hortley is a really good friend of mine. I don't want to see anything bad happen to him. So what do you think? Can I come along? No. Mm. No worries, friend. Come back any time if you change your mind. Where was the blacksmith at? I'm actually thinking about taking the rock and uh he was this way uh the guy in the sewer <laughs> welcome back atlas the brave after much blood sweat and tears i have finally crafted the perfect sword please take it as a gift but wait you already have one oh that's awkward. I still feel like I owe you for protecting me yesterday. I have an idea. I'll come with you to save the mayor. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. What do you say? No. I understand. My arms can be quite intimidating. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be right here flexing. Yeah, I think uh, if we're gonna go fight the Snoodle Wonker, we're gonna need Mortimer for sure. And then we'll get the coward who ran away. Bring him with us. Ah, you came back. I knew you would. You're a good person, you know that? You've gained my full respect, Atlas. It would be an honor to join you on your quest to save the mayor. I need to finish what I started. I must avenge my wife. May I join you on your quest, Atlas? Yes. Thank you. Let us begin our journey. A cool hat added to your inventory. Oh man, can I equip this cool hat? We got pristine apple, and apple a day keeps the monsters away. You are thankful to whoever was in the well for giving you this. All party members heal plus two at the start of their turn. Uh, enemies admire your cool hat and can't take their eyes off of it. You start with the kudos buff at the start of combat. What does kudos buff do? Wait, can I change the equipment for Mortimer? Yeah, he's not equipped with anything. We'll give him a cool hat. We're gonna go down here. Will you descend? Yes. <laughs> Lloyd looks so happy now that he found a friend. My time has come to join the Crown Dwellers once again! Oh, how I have missed the air up here! Dead Grandma has helped me overcome my fears and laziness. I decided I want to repay you for granting me such a wonderful lifelong friend like her. I also heard the Mayor got kidnapped. I think I can help. I am a master tracker. 
I'm ready to read some poetry to those who judge and defy us. So, what do you say? Yes. Okay. Dead Grandma wants to come too, if that's all right. Badge of ultimate friendship added to inventory. Uh, this badge can only be worn by the most prestigious of friends. Everyone that sees it knows you mean friendly business. Chance to apply the butterflies debuff to a random enemy at the start of combat. There we go. Will you ascend? Yes. We now have our party. Why are you just sitting here on the tree? Hey, punk. I'm, I'm taking my one and only break from making deliveries. I don't have time to play little search and rescue games with you. Bye. And they're, they're not our friend. I wonder if there is a way to make her our friend. Let's go check on the guy in the cage. I still love being caged up. Alright. Uh, now that I have two people, what do I do? Me? Ted? Doesn't let me do anything. Should I go to Toots? Oh, there's a lot of frog people in here. Wow, looks like word of Toots tonic got around. Welcome back at this. I can't thank you enough for helping me out earlier. Look at all of the new people we have here because of you. There are at least three I don't even recognize. It's a shame the mayor got kidnapped, though. He was one of my best customers. Totally would always order rounds for everyone. He's such a pure soul. I'd hate to have anything bad happen to him. I think I want to help you save him. What do you say? Although it looks like your party is already full. Would you like to swap someone out? No. Oh, I see. That's all right. I need to stay and take care of the tavern anyway. Mouse in the back still there. There's all these frog people. Ribbit. All right. Well, uh, now that we have two people. What am I supposed to go do? Do I go where the Schnoodle Wonker was before? No, oh, it's to the right of the mayor's house. It looks like we're ready to continue our journey, Atlas. Once you leave the area, you can still come back. You just won't be able to recruit anyone else. So make sure you're happy with your party. When you're ready, walk into the forest, and we can begin our journey into the unknown. Natural leader, recruit your party. Oh, before I forget, you can also talk with your party members using the party tab. Who knows what they might have to save. But don't forget, you can still talk to me with the B key. Yeah, I tried to do that earlier, and uh, you didn't say anything. Where is D Schnoodle Walker? Yes, a new path. Is there anything over here? is where he was supposed to be at, right? There's like a red mushroom. A hand tugs on your shoulder. Okay, you want me to use you? But I'll use the hand.
Yeah, those keys aren't doing anything. tugs on my shoulder, but it doesn't give me an option to use the hand. You did you find nothing. Oh, I just got a bug achievement. Valid data has been found. File now available in documents. Hmm. And now the red mushroom's gone. to the Bluglands, the home of the Blugs. Just pretend it smells really bad here. Oh god, it stinks. It's so bad smelling here. It's like if a fart farted in its own fart. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can use left shift to slash with your sword. Look at all these cool game mechanics. Hey, it's Groncho. Well, isn't that a familiar face? It's Groncho. Oh, hey again, Atlas. I just wanted to apologize again. I'm sorry that I became so angry after you took my sword. It was yours originally, so you deserve to have it back if you want it. I think we should just be friends again. Wait, who are they? Did you recruit party members for an adventure without me? Why? Why didn't you ask me to join? So let me get this straight. You stole my sword, then decided to go on an adventure with friends, and didn't even think to... I thought we were friends. Okay, yep, now I'm upset again. You are officially unforgiven. You know what? You don't even deserve to continue this adventure. Now I need to fight you again. All right, let's go. Kudos to Morton for being so talented. They will deal double damage on their next turn. Okay, so it looks like Grancho wants to fight us again. Good thing you have new friends to help out. Defending works the same as before, except now you have two more keys. You'll see what I mean. This will show you for being some ASD. Oh, okay. You're going to notice a new rest button. If things are getting too rough, you can take a breather and set it out a turn. This will heal you a small amount too. Everyone also has a second special move, including yourself. I thought Love Tap would fit you since you're uh, full of untamed power. It's a powerful attack that will surely break the bones of any friends we are trying to make. These moves can be quite powerful, so they do have a cooldown. To decrease this cooldown, you just need to time your blocks perfectly. Okay, enough of me rambling on. Let's fight! Well, let's just use the love tap then. Jake? Oh, I gotta keep tapping Jake. Why couldn't you have just invited me? I was literally at your house. Can trip kickflip. is feeling a little dumb and dizzy. Their attacks might miss for a few turns. 
kudos has been removed from Morton for being quite average. I would have given the sword back. He could have just asked. Dead grandma. Oh. I can't handle this anymore. You're just too cool to argue with. I'm leaving. Wow, that was incredible. He really did a number on Grodd Show. But I hope he understands how much we love him. After all, we just want him to be our friend. One last thing. Your party may have taken some damage in battle. If you open up your inventory, you can select a party member to see a new feature called Compliment. If you type out something really nice to the character, they will be compliment or completely healed. If you need to be fully healed, I'll compliment you myself. Use compliments sparingly, though. They are not easy to come by around here. All right, on your way. I'll just be here alongside you. Okay. Uh, are they gone? Oh, it's a person. It's a squid. Isla? Hello! Is anyone there? Oh no, that creature looks like she could use some help. <clears throat> Hello! I think I hear footsteps. Someone there. Please. I have nothing left to give. Oh. Wait. You don't sound like a blurg. You need to help me. They took my babies. The blugs are going to eat them if we don't save them soon. I would find them myself, but I can't exactly see without them. If you can do this for me, I can get you across the water. Although, I did hear a giant rumbling sound not too long ago towards that direction. Probably not important. Anyways, return to me once you free all four of my babies. Please. A mother should never be without her children, especially when she's blind without them. All right, looks like we had a little quest adventure thing that we can go and do. There's different directions and areas to explore. I, I like the evolution that this game is going through, the way that my gameplay mechanics are changing. It still has that nice pixely retro look to it but it's uh, got more of like a 3D dimension. I'm very impressed. And uh, here I thought this was going to be the last bit and the game was going to be over, but no. Looks like we've got more to do. Uh, it has been 53 minutes since recording, so I think this will be a good place to stop. We now have our party recruited. We are currently in a different dimension where we're going to do quests and help this octopus lady find her children, which may be her eyes. And then from there, uh, we continue on. We will go and save the mare. But that's a video for next week. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.